In this video, I'm going to walk you through the, uh, this uh, beam deflection analysis. It's part of this uh, PowerPoint slide set. I'm going to use Inventor to calculate the, the uh, beam deflection, and I'm going to do use the uh, model this piece of lumber, and I'm going to do it in this orientation, in the joist orientation and I'll leave it for you to uh, do the same calculation in this plank orientation. So we're dealing with a piece of lumber eight foot long, and here are the dimensions. So I'm gonna start out by creating a new part and a new sketch on the XY plane. Draw a rectangle. And it's going to be uh, 1.5 inches wide, 10, and 5.5 inches tall. six inches, that's uh, eight feet. I'm going to uh, create a point on this surface so that I could uh, apply my force to the middle of the beam. So I'm going to create a new sketch on this surface. I'm going to turn on my uh, construction geometry here and I'm going to project this face. And so now you, now you notice I have these uh, uh, the uh, dotted lines, the yellow dotted lines. And I do that because I'm going to uh, try to find the center. Uh, I'm going to draw a uh, line here. I'm looking for the center by just hovering over this area. And when I find it, it'll be a little green dot. So I'm going to draw a, a line from there to the other side of the beam there, so I can zoom in. And now I'm going to place a point at the midpoint of that line, and if I hover over here, I'll find that little green dot. And I'll, there's my, uh, I forgot, I'm going to turn construction geometry off. I'm going to place another point so that it's not a uh, construction geometry, but a real geometry, and it's a yellow, a yellow dot. Now if I zoom out, um, there's my point. And I'm going to hit escape twice, and I can actually delete this line here. And so I'm going to finish my sketch. So I'm not going to extrude anything. Uh, the only reason I did that is because uh, that sketch will be visible. Uh, you notice that it's visible. And so I'll be able to see that point uh, when I'm doing my analysis. So I'm going to go over to the part and uh, hit I properties. Go to physical, uh, change the material. I'm going to scroll down to uh, wood, and I'm going to call it maple. You notice there is no selection here for fir, which is what they use in the example. But fir is a soft wood, and so is maple. I uh, don't want to use oak. Oak is uh, much harder, and uh, these would not be used for construction. Um, neither would maple, but it's the closest approximation, so I'm choosing that. And. Uh, Okay. Now you notice uh, it shows up here saying that the wood that the material is wood maple. Um, okay. So I'm going to save it. I'm just going to call it lumber, and I'll call it plank. I'm sorry. This is the joist orientation. I'm going to go to my environments and go to stress analysis. And I'm going to here I'm going to create a uh, simulation. And I want to make sure that there's a dot here on this static analysis. 
hit OK. I'm going to, uh, just for the sake of visibility, I'm going to go to View and I'm going to turn on, change my visual style to uh, wireframe so that I could see through the part, go back to my uh, stress analysis. So next I'm going to uh, uh, specify my fixed points. I'm going to zoom in and specify this edge here. And the opposite edge here and hit apply hit cancel and notice now here I have constraints under constraints I have two fixed locations and if I click on them uh, they'll be highlighted in blue you could see one here and one there so next I'm going to do uh, I'm going to uh, specify my forces I loads, click here. And I'm going to zoom into that point that I drew right on the surface. Specify that point. And uh, let's just use an estimate, uh, assuming that you're going to be standing on this plank, on this joist, I'm going to say 120 pounds. Hit apply cancel and uh, so there's my model and you notice I, I could look at the loads here now I could specify and, and edit them here so next I'm going to do this uh, mesh mesh command and uh, now I could actually go ahead and run my simulation So I'm going to look at the uh, front. Uh, what I'm going to do is look at the displacement. You know, so you can look at a lot of different things here. Uh, but we're interested right now just in the displacement. So I'm going to double click on here. And you notice that the displacement is a maximum of 0 0.0193 inches. And that displacement would be right here in the center. And uh, so uh, play around with this look at all the different other variables and you can change the material and so forth. Uh, the next thing that, would, that I would like you to do is to change the orientation of the lumber into the plank orientation and uh, do the same exercise.